Jimmy Gunner player. Um, he's been making a lot of good upsets, and recently, I think most notably, able to get a win on Jewel, our resident Mugabe prodigy, immediately starting off the set with a Hydrant and an Apple, and a great, great forward air stream, just like pushing Mr. E off stage so much. I love this aggression right now. He, in, in like the first 10 seconds, dominated so much stage control, and it's just funny how like quickly that just became the opposite. Um, and had Mr. E gotten that two frame, that would have been maybe the stock right there. Um, ooh, and the fact that he was charging the neutral B was able to protect him from the hydrant itself. So, 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 really, really, really great. Um, I think Caleb tried to stall there with the hydrant. I love that. Just throwing off Mr. E's timing ever so slightly with it. And the hydrant almost enough to take out the stock. Opting for, I believe that was the melon. Um, I don't think he actually got the hit off on it. Um, right now, we just need to find, see Caleb try to close out the stock somehow. And I feel like this is a really, really big change of pace for the common conceptions uh, about Pac-Man. Because, like, right now, we just see him with, like, so much, so much momentum and, like, really, really, like, going in a lot, as opposed to, like, setting up a little bit more defensively, playing a little bit more reservedly. Um, regardless, uh, right now, Caleb just needs to find a way to clutch out the stock. Um, I believe Pac-Man down air would definitely be the move of choice here. Ooh, using the invulnerability on the side B, or maybe just the fact that he was a little too far away to get countered like that. And the back air, Mr. E was ready for it, sitting in shield. Um, Mr. E just so, so ready with his text. Mr. E just has like so much awareness. But the F tilt, uh, fantastic F tilt, uh, able to close out the stock. I don't, I don't believe it's normally a kill move, but 176% just about anything can kill. I wonder who, every time I see Caleb play, he is always talking to somebody. <laughs> it's very, very interesting to watch. Uh, regardless, he spiked him back into the trampoline. Wow, I really, really like that. I feel like Pac-Man just has like this extra safety option. So um, if it was intentional on Caleb's part, really, really good on him. Um, the grab calling out the spot dodge. Pac-Man might have one of the most active grabs in the game right now. Only contested by ZSS and his F smash almost able to kill him trying to lead the low recovery with the down air, but Mr. E getting back successfully. Um, Mr. E trying to get something started, maybe just trying to push him away with that jab just a little bit. I think Caleb was trying to knock the hydrant, but his spacing was just off. And the apple, not enough to break the hydrant either, maybe trying to get it to knock up to hit Mr. E. But the up tilt, more than enough to take out the stock. Ooh, and that down. Just dropping to the ground. You see Mr. E not even going to grab it, just trying to continue what he was going for. Bell to up smash. Very reliable, very consistent. Um, and uh, Caleb is trying to start something with those forward airs because Pac Man can do so much off of forward air and up air. Just like, just string somebody all the way along to the other side of the stage at low percents. Um, so right there, just, wow, using the cherry to extend it as a tech chase, I really, really like that. And Caleb is just keeping this so close against the PGR player. Caleb has just been making actual genuine strides, doing a fantastic job of holding his own, especially against an amazing player like Mr. E right now. The nail out of shield, not catching Mr. E, but able to get the down air there. And almost hitting him with the hydrant as well. Mr. E retorting back with a fantastic up air and almost getting hit by Pac Man side B again. And right now you just see the two of them playing around each other's shields so much. And Caleb, this is a very dangerous spot right now because by Z dropping the bell, or I believe that was just down throwing it, you can cover neutral, get up, you can cover get up attack, you can cover jumps. But ah, Caleb maybe trying to uh, snap to ledge there, inadvertently hitting Mr. E's shield, opening himself up to get hit by an aggressive up B out of shield. Um, regardless, going into game two, um, I feel like 
Caleb was definitely holding his own. He was doing super, super well. Um, he just has to be a little bit more reserved in getting back to stage like that. And if he can just um, maybe mix up the, his edge guards on Mr. E, because I saw him going for uh, to cover a lot of low commitments, right? Covering a low commitment with the down air or with uh, throwing out the fruit. Um, but Mr. E, like with such a linear recovery like Lucina's, he's able to maximize her floatiness to like the highest extent. So right now, opting for PS2, I think a fantastic stage choice for Pac-Man. Just able to get so much off of that. And 43%, 64% in the first 10 seconds of the game. Pac-Man's DPS is definitely not something to be slept on. Um, Caleb needs to find a way to land and... Wow, that Hydra just knocking up and hitting Mr. E sitting on the platform like that. Ooh, and the up air had Mr. E just stayed in place. You know, I feel like Caleb is just so, so good with his hydrant angles right now to cover as many different options as possible. Um, right now, like you see Caleb, he's starting to hit Mr. E's shield a lot. And Lucina has some of the best up out of shield options in the game. Um... Definitely an easy distance for um, Pac-Man to cover, and I was talking to Sinji uh, the other day uh, about like just like how much sustain Pac-Man can have off the stage, um, because if Pac-Man isn't drifting in, you know he has this um, side B that you know I believe it has like super armor on it, and then an up B that will basically let you recover from any distance and is a get out of jail free card in response to any spikes. But right now, Mr. E taking off the stock with a F tilt. Um, you know, Caleb shaking his head after that. I love his usage of Pac-Man's bell on his own shield. That was menacing. Um, really, really, really great stuff from Mr. E. Really, really great projectile play there. Um, but again, we're seeing the same issue as in the first game where Caleb needs to find a way to close out these stocks a little bit better. And the fact that not enough to take it, you see, uh, Mr. E, uh, <laughs> jumping back in his seat a little bit after that. And right now, Caleb, I feel like he was trying to get the water push up with the apple, but that was enough to take out the stock, getting the Gallagher here. And this is very, very dangerous, but Mr. E is ready, sitting in shield. Because if you don't know, if you try to throw out any attack right there, you will be taking around 40% with a Gallagher re-grab aerial. Um, so something definitely to look out for if you are edgeguarding Pac-Man and he's holding Gallagher. Um... I love the fact that Caleb drifted out to the edge of the stage to charge his neutral be just a little bit more. That was super, super, super good. Um, because, like, Lucina cannot contest Pac-Man all the way back there. That's definitely going to be the stock, right? So Pac-Man's going to make the most out of that and play extremely patiently. Um, and, like, he's doing it again and again, like, able to get free projectile charge and calling out Mr. E spot dodge again. Pac-Man is not a character you can spot dodge against and hope not to get grabbed. But Caleb, I believe that might have been untackable, though I missed it. Um, regardless, he did miss the tech and, as a result, lost his stock to the stage spike up B. And Caleb, the, with the up smash, and I believe if he had just positioned himself a little bit back more, the F smash might have been plenty to take out the stock. Um, Pac-Man's F smash is incredibly disjointed and kills super, super early. Um, right now, Mr. E just like racking up the damage super, super slowly, playing very, very patiently. And Caleb needs to find a way again to close out the stock because right now this is just extra credit, um, as they say, for Mr. E. Um, and the back throw, not enough to take an impeccable DI from Mr. E. Love the forward air, so much situational awareness, knowing it'll neutralize the projectile just thrown at him. But right now, I've noticed a, ca a habit from Caleb almost. Whenever, like, uh, he's very, very hungry for the kill, you just see him go in with those falling back hills a lot, despite them not being particularly safe on shield. And the F smash, outranging Lucina's neutral B? That was nutty. That was so good. But I love right now Mr. E's usage of his uh, Caleb's own hydrant, forcing him off stage a little bit. And Caleb needs to find a way to get back onto stage against Lucina. But the hydrant pushing Mr. E out of the way, but getting ledge trapped again. It's like a double edge sword in the up air enough to take out the stock. I believe that's JV2 um, coming from Mr. E. Um, but regardless, I think Caleb did a phenomenal job and. 
if we do see Caleb a little bit later today, uh, maybe in, out of pools or in top eight, right now we just, um, I think Caleb definitely has to be a little bit less, I know like he's struggling to take out like those stocks a little bit, he has to be a little bit less hungry with those aggressive backers, just letting Mr. E pile and pile on the damage, um, I don't want to say for free, but it did just give Mr. E like, a very basic game plan of, I'm going to sit and shield, and then up be out of shield, or neutral out of shield when he hits it. 